Hello! In this video, I'm going to show you how to put the clarinet mouthpiece and barrel together. Let's get started. We're going to start with our reeds. Okay, I have two reed cases here. This one holds up to four reeds. Oops, it's upside down. <laughs> okay, so this one holds up to four reeds. This one only holds one. Likely, you have this one. So I'm going to start with this one. So I take out the reed from the reed case. And remember, the small end is always the one that goes in first whenever you put it back. Okay, so I take out the reed from the reed case, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the thinnest end, and you can tell which is the thinnest end by looking at it flat, okay, and you can see which side is the thinnest uh, from the side, but I'm going to take the thinnest end, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put that and get that wet in my mouth throughout the process. Feel free to continue to do this on your own, uh, but so that you can understand what I'm saying, I'm going to take mine out for now. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get the mouthpiece and the barrel and we're going to put those two together. So let's start with the mouthpiece. My mouthpiece has a cover over it. Yours may too. Uh, the cover is usually for later for when you're resting or you want to go somewhere and uh, need to protect your reed. Okay, so it helps to protect the reed. So let's put that down. We're going to take the ligature off. We're going to put that down too. And before we put it down, why don't we go ahead and just loosen up those screws so that when we do put the reed on later, um, it's all ready to go. You really don't need to loosen them too much. Just a few times uh, for each screw. And if you have a black ligature and it's only got one screw, just loosen it just enough. Definitely don't loosen it all the way, otherwise your screw will fall out. Okay? All right. So now we've got our mouthpiece all by itself, and you'll notice there's a little cork here at the bottom. So I'm going to take my cork grease, and uh, I'm going to put just a little bit on the cork, and then I'm going to spread it around with my finger to even it out. And the reason that I do it with my finger, uh, instead of just taking the cork grease and putting it all around, is because it uh, prevents any excess cork grease from getting on there. And when you have excess cork grease, once we put the barrel and the mouthpiece together, it's going to squeeze through and it's going to be kind of gross. So now I take out the barrel once this is greased up, and I'm going to put them together. And you'll notice there's really only one right way to put it together. Uh, so here we go. You want to twist it together. You definitely don't want to push it straight together. Uh, twisting it helps the longevity of the cork uh, and keeps it nice and good uh, for a lot longer than if you just push it together. Okay, so I have the barrel and the mouthpiece together, and you always want to put these two pieces together before you have the reed and the ligature on. Uh, the reason being, when you're twisting it, that way you're not going to accidentally hurt your reed or ligature. All right, here we go. So I've got these two together. I've got my reed here that hopefully you guys have been soaking in your mouth. There we go. And uh, now I'm going to put the reed onto the mouthpiece. So if you'll notice, the reed has a little, sorry, let's see if I can, there you go. The reed has a little written spot at the bottom of it. So that's the one that's going to go towards the bottom of the uh, mouthpiece, okay? And then the top part of the reed, the thinnest part right here, is the one that's going to go towards the top. You want the flat side of the reed, the side with the writing, to be up against the mouthpiece, um, right where the hole on the mouthpiece is. Okay, so there's my mouthpiece, there's the reed sitting on top. If you look very closely, you can see at the bottom here that the reed, the mouthpiece has a little flat section that the reed needs to be lined up with. So mine's lined up. If it wasn't lined up, uh, it might look something like that. And uh, it would be very difficult to get the ligature on and to play it right. So you want to make sure that it's lined up here at the bottom. Now that mine's lined up, I'm going to put my thumb there. And then I'm going to double check the top. My reed's just a little too high because I can see it over on this side that it's too high. Um, so I'm going to lower it down to where when I look at it straight on, I can see just a tiny bit of black above the reed. Alright, so now that I'm holding it down with my thumb and keeping it in place, with my other hand, I'm going to pick up my ligature. And I'm going to slide the ligature over the top. With a metal ligature, usually the, um, the screws are on the same side as the reed. Um, but if you have a black Rovner ligature, um, probably the opening is going to be on the other side. Uh, so that's a good thing to just double check uh, with me in class. All right, so here I am. I'm pushing it down. If you find that yours gets stuck at the top, don't try to loosen the screws anymore. They're probably loose enough. Um, just take it and flip it back uh, the other way because sometimes if you put them on upside down, they don't quite stick. So I just flip them back and then it works. 
All right, now I'm gonna push it all the way down until it is below the cut part of the reed. And the cut part of the reed is just that little, you can see it, it's like a little half moon kind of thing. So you wanna make sure the ligature always stays below that cut part of the reed. Double check your reed, make sure it's on exactly. And then we're gonna start screwing with the bottom screw, if you have two. And uh, we're gonna start screwing that bottom screw in. Once the bottom screw's in pretty tight, you may actually wanna unscrew it just a little bit. Uh, otherwise, we don't wanna choke the reed to where it won't vibrate. Okay, then we go to the top screw and we screw that one on. And same thing, I'd actually turn this one back once it's really tight, turn it back like maybe a full turn. Okay, so that it stays nice and loose and your reed can vibrate. And there is my mouthpiece and barrel together ready to play.